Betty Drake's Carling Black Label. Carling what? Carling Black Label. It's brewed in England to 4.1% for fuller flavor. And because it's the number one selling beer over there, <laughs> you ain't gonna find enough back here to spit with. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Head Inley. Bass Head Inley, to give it its correct title, and Old Kingston Rovers, today's visitors. I'll run through the teams for you now. Four leads. Alan Tate is at fullback. Jim Fallon, Kevin Iro, Craig Innes, Paul Cook. Paul Cook coming in on the wing in place of Simon Irving. Graham Holroyd and Gary Schofield are the halfbacks. Neil Harmon, James Laws and Ian Scott, the front three. And Gary Mercer, Gary Rose and Ellery Hanley completing the forwards. The substitutes today... Both on debut, Francis Cummins, 16, from Dewsbury, and Marcus Vasilakopoulos from Hull, who's 17 today. Well, Kingston Rovers will line up with Mike Bibby at fullback, Julian Barkworth, Rob Hutchinson, David Lydiard, Bright Sodji. It's a fairly pacey three-quarter line. Dean Clark and Wayne Parker, the halves in sparkling form. Chris Harrison, Richard Chamberlain, Wayne Jackson. The front row, Paul Fletcher, Andy Thompson, Paul Lyman. The back three with Mick Crane and David Hoskins from Manly as the substitutes. The Leeds will turn round and play uh, what is their favourite way in the first half, from right to left as you're looking. And it's going to be Leeds to kick off and it's going to be Graham Holroyd. Oh, well, never before, I don't think well, Leeds have had three 17-year-olds and one 16-year-old on duty. But that's the uh, state of the talent that's abounding at Headingley these days. So all right, gets the game underway. And Ulkinson Rovers immediately with Harrison. And Gary Rose in at the first tackle, 30 tackles in the second half of the match against Wigan. Tremendous display from Gary Rose. And the ball moved out there despite the attentions of four leads men. Good move there, Parker. Good support play from the halfback. And Leeds are going to be caught in a penalty situation there. The first penalty of the game goes to Hull Kingston. Ellery Hanley are judged to be holding the man down. So Wayne Parker, the Hull Kingston Rovers captain, will kick this ball for the touchline. So Leeds, the uh, first visit home since that tremendous uh, storming comeback against Warrington, and they'll be keen to put one over today on Hull Kingston Rovers, who many people tip as favourites for relegation. But they've had their victory this season over... St. Ellen's in the first game. And Leeds will be aware of being caught cold here, expected to win and expected to win well. But Leeds have worked well today, and that's a mistake there. By Kingston Rovers working a move, and the move not coming off. Andy Thompson losing the ball. Leeds not able to take full advantage, so the referee will uh, give Gary Schofield a chance to feed or to work the first scrum of the game. Tap that's one against the head there, and again leads. We'll have some defending to do in this opening few minutes. Andy Thompson running straight at Graham Allroyd there, and Allroyd bringing him down with Gary Rose. And using the short side. It's Paul Fletcher. Mike Fletcher, of course, fullback not playing today. Parker goes himself, looks to offload there, and actually lost the ball. Lydia trying to put the big men over. That's a good pass there to Chris Harrison. And Wilkinson Rovers with men to spare on that far side. Tackle just short there on the sixth tackle. So good defence from Leeds. And a good piece of attack from Ulkia. So Leeds playing that ball and Gary Mercer will immediately run out. That's good running from Mercer. And lively hooker Chamberlain. And Laws taking that back into the rook. And Harrison just completes the over-the-top tackle. Harmon. And Leeds will take a drive with Ian Scott. And Ian Scott cleared of any phase of a broken arm in the uh, 
came at Wigan early in the week. We're back to Holroyd for the kick and cool customer kicks over the top there. And picked up by Julian Barkwood. Lydiard. Hutchison, the former Halifax player. Penalty given there against uh, James Laws for knocking the ball away in the tackle. So Leeds at the moment incurring the wrath of Mr. Campbell. And Rovers back on the uh, attack. So Harrison then. Again, big men doing the work for all Kingston Rovers. Ten, Jackson. Using the short side of move here with Wayne Parker. That ball's out. And put down by Hutchison and picked up by Craig and he saw Leeds back in possession. And looking to uh, clear their lines. Hanley will run from acting half back. Find Scott. And Rovers up quickly. Gary Mercer had some big games for Leeds this season Gary Mercer tremendous involvement in the defeat at Wigan Harmon and good driving from Gary Rose and Leeds again will be looking to kick on this last tackle all right ever so cool there what's the kick in And Sodji will run the ball, right, Sodji. Good tackling from Schofield and number 11, Gary Mercer. Oh, good play, good defence play from Leeds there. One going blind, one going open. And Rovers, no option to move from acting half back. And knock on there. Well, I thought the referee was going to play blind there. Sodji and uh, Harrison in all sorts of trouble. So Leeds, first ball at the scrum. Short balls for Iro, and Iro's away. Lovely balls out to Cook. Cook will come inside. Good play from Leeds, opening play out immediately there. Good quick ball from all right at the scrum. The penalty for Leeds. Good running from Paul Cook. So Leeds moving that ball out wide and Cook immediately in with a running chance. Hanley takes the tap to himself and scores a try. All kicks the Rovers all sat there waiting. I don't know what the... They were waiting for there, but Ellery Hanley saw that they were all with the backs turned, and Ellery took a quick tap and over for the try for Leeds. Well, I'm sure Ulkington Rovers are waiting for Ellery Hanley to decide there whether we were going to have a kick for goal. And Graham Holroyd will attempt to slot this over. And cool as a cucumber, Graham Holroyd. What a prospect he is. Slots it over, it's Leeds. Six, Old Kingston Rovers, nil. Old Kingston Rovers caught napping there at that uh, tap penalty. It's a long kick downfield and Gary Mercer will come for that one. Oh, that's good running from Mercer. A good tackle over on that far side. From number three, Hutchison. In fact, the senders have changed over from the uh, team sheet. Lydiard is three and Hutchison is four. Gary Rose running with the ball and plenty of facial there from Hutchinson. Harmon. All right, kick charge down. 
And Lady Ard turning players inside out there. And good tackling from Leeds as Rovers back in possession and this is dangerous for Leeds. Lyman. Good tackling again there from Mercer on number 10, Wayne Jackson. And that's good tackling from Schofield. Ever alert there, Gary Schofield. And he's picked up the loose ball, so Leeds back in possession. Mercer again will run this ball out. But that's better tackling from Old Kingston. Paul Fletcher and Jackson. Just Gary Rose. And Leeds using the big man, Neil Harmon now. Good ball from Innes. And he's using Cook as a foil, going himself. Finally wrapped up by Barkworth and number four, Rob Hutchison. So Scott now will play the ball. And that's back this time by Allroyd. And this time Allroyd kicks. Kicks deep for the fullback. Mike Bibby. Still the tackle of Kevin Iro there. Step in Iro. Well, Kingston Rovers certainly all man in the referee with the penalties. Mercer couldn't really get up any quicker there. So many three penalties. To the one for Leeds. And that ball disappearing on the roof. And Gary Rose and Gary Mercer, the second row pairing for Leeds. That's good tackling. Paul Fletcher. Parker, he's a danger man as far as leads are concerned. Hutchison gets the ball away in the tackle. Only as far as James Laws and Gary Schofield. On the cross field kick, that's good play. And Sodgy's in for the try there. Well, Leeds caught there with the crossfield kick. Lydia had a low tackle, has managed to get the ball away to Sodji, and Sodji's over for the try for Old Kingston Rovers, which brings the score back to six points to four. They'll be delighted with that. Come back with three consecutive penalties there, which has brought them all of their possession in the Leeds quarter. Twelve minutes gone, six minutes after Leeds open the account. Number two, Julian Barkworth has the simplest of conversions to bring the scores level. Leeds kicking off. Good Graham Holroyd. Holroyd plants that one down, Felix. Harrison will run the ball out. Good tackling again from Leeds, keeping him within 10 metres of the uh, mark. And Barkworth. Kingston Rovers tearing leads apart now in the middle of the field at the moment. It's a suspicion of a forward pass there. The Leeds defence will have to move across quickly there. That's a good tackle from Jim Fallon and Gary Mercer. Parker again. Switching men inside. Well, certainly playing entertaining football, Hulk here. There's a massive gap behind the play of the ball and Lyman. Leeds back in position as Lyman trying to get the ball away only found a Leeds man's body Iro will rampage through but this time he's caught there by the rook Low spots the gap goes himself from that tin half Scott can't get the ball away, looking round in the tackle, lows in support. Harmon again, using the forwards leads. It's 
Schofield now running with that ball. That's out to Cook. Cook. Will look to come inside. Good tackle from Barkworth. Up to the last tackle. Holroyd. Picks that with his right foot. And only finds Mike Bibby. Oh, consider overs with Sodji. And if Sodji breaks the line, there's little chance of anyone uh, being able to catch him. Been linked with a host of clubs, but nothing yet uh, coming of that. Sodji looking to move away from Ulkinston Rovers. Clark and, and Leonardo wrapping him up. Backers kick. Spins and Alan Tate will let that bounce as uh, sun in his eyes this afternoon, Tate. Looks to go through the gap, but the gap is uh, quickly closed there by Parker and Thompson. Cook. And using, uh, oh, that's good play there. That's even better play from Leeds. James Lowe's over halfway. Good ball from Harmon and a good ball from Mercer. All right. Toss in there, given against Graham Holroyd. So four penalties for Old Kingston, and that's the result that they've had much of the possession in the Leeds half of the field. David Campbell from Widnes. Chamberlain with the tap. And again, another penalty against Leeds. All caught offside at the play of the ball. And Harrison now even less run. Less distance to charge to the line. Just made a shot, Old Kingston. And using the big forwards, driving up near the post. Good tackling from Allroyd and Schofield. Hanley in there. On a move there with Lydiard, but Leeds wide awake to that. Parker again. And Leeds burying Parker this time. And picked up by Ian Scott. So a feeble drop goal attempt there. And moving off the mark, that's got to be a penalty to Leeds. Quickly off the mark, Chamberlain. And Holroyd will uh, have a touch. Finds touch. Just uh, 35 metres from the Leeds line. And Fallon will have a run from the tap penalty. And again, he's got Wilkinson Rovers all offside. That's it for tap penalties. And Leeds won't complain. That's bringing them down the field. So I'm sure that Hull Kingston weren't complaining earlier in the proceedings. So all right again with the kick. It's a good ball into the crowd there and leads on the attack. You can sense the anticipation. It's a big buzz around Headingley these days. It's a game four of the uh, Stones Bitter Championship, round four as it were. Ian Scott. Leeds up here in support. All right. Going over himself. Oh, and he's lost the ball on the line, Graham. All right. Parker Hutchison. Well, that was a forward pass. That ball was taken from over the top of the head of Hutchinson by the Yucca. And good tackling from Leeds. And 
And good tackling in the middle of the field. Good work from Holroyd and Airman. And that kick. We'll find Jim Fallon with space to run. And a good tackle there from Lydia, the Australian, who played so well with Manly and Parramatta. Fallon again. He takes in space now. And he just can't get the ball away, Leeds. Looking with Schofield, showing the ball. Wrapped up there, Schofield. All right, again, looks this time. Short passes for Ian Scott. And Scott looking to offload and leads. Owens not to in support there. And all right, kick finds touch. And we're all back where we started a couple of minutes ago with the scums all Kingston Rovers on the 10 metre line. 10 metres square, 10 metres from the line, 10 metres in from touch. Rovers again, the third scum. Good afternoon for them. Clark just trying to run through Graham all right, and Hanley coming away from the scum quickly. That's good loose forward play from Ellery Hanley. Knock on, given against the old Kingston man. So heading ball to Leeds at the scrum in a very dangerous position as far as old Kingston Rovers concerned. Just uh, 15 metres from that line. And Schofield looking to feed the scrum. Leeds have an injury. And they quickly there. Fallon, great tackle from Sodji. Very Rose just taking men on on that far side. Lovely balls for Lowe's. Lowe's just a metre short. This is good play from Leeds. Lovely ball there from Gary Rose. And surely there was an offside there at the play of the ball. And old Kingston Rovers back in possession, so Leeds attack coming to nothing. Picked up quickly by Mercer and out there to Holroyd. The long ball's out for Cook and Cook's in at the corner, is he? Yes, that's a try. The two juniors there combining well. All right, in for Cook. Best of friends off the field and quick thinking there by Kevin Iro and ever alert pass from All right. And a try to Paul Cook on his first appearance of the season. All right, settled himself down. Pulls that one wide, but a good effort there. So 10 points to six leads in the lead. We'll be looking to make sure that they don't let Rovers back in as quickly as they did at the end after they'd scored the first try. Good play there from the tackle that forced the ball out of the uh, Rovers player in possession. High though, alert quickly. Ball out to Allroyd. And the long missing out in his long ball out to Cook. Took that. Well, he actually took that ball in the 10 metres and this referee must get a grip of these stupid little rules there the man was plainly inside the 10 metres when he caught the ball he was allowing the advantage but no advantage was forthcoming to Leeds and Rovers again back in a dangerous position there clever play from Wayne Parker Lyman slipping under Kevin Iroh but quickly recovered there in his Parker again. Knock on there, surely. What's the referee doing? That's a knock on. Jim Fallon tackled, so that'll be a dropout. Leeds will be dropping out under their own post. So Leeds will have to watch the crafty kicks of uh, Wayne Parker <laughs> in the in goal.
all right with the drop. But clearly there, the Ilkington Rovers man taking that ball within the 10 metres. Parker back in possession. Will run the ball, looks to find Bibby. And Gary Rose and Neil Harmon quickly in at the tackle. Thompson, that's good play from Thompson. He's landing to touch there. Good tackling from Fay Guinness. Big defence from Leeds. Leeds will look to uh, get the ball out of the scrum, but Parker complaining that Schofield had knocked on, but Ulkington Rovers guilty of collapsing the pack there, and I think they can think themselves lucky that they weren't penalised. Schofield finds Cook. And Cook wraps up. Nowhere to go from the base of the scrum. Mercer. The good running takes in space and so is Ayro. Now Ayro can open himself up here. Fallon coming on the inside. Good play from Leeds. 50 yards in that move. All right. Steps manages to get the ball away to Tate in support. Back inside for Ayro and he bumps men off there. Tate again. Fallon will have to take the tackle. That's good play from Leeds. Enterprising play. All right again. That's a lovely ball for Schofield. Mercer. Inside ball is for Innes. Schofield, the line's open for Schofield. He turns a man. That's just a shimmy, a wiggle of the hips, and Wayne Parker was in no man's land. And good play there from Leeds, coming all the 50, 60 yards in that move. A try to Gary Schofield. And Leeds quickly moving that ball across, and Schofield there just wiggled his hips. All right, converts. And Leeds 16 points to six. To the good three tries, two goals to the one try and one goal from Hall Kingston. So Kingston about to make a substitution. It's going to be number 10, Wayne Jackson, coming off. And it looks like uh, the manly forward, David Hoskins. Well, he proved a real handful last week when he came on. Although jet lagged, so Leeds will be wary of him. The forward who can uh, turn a game. Parker this time takes the... Uh, Hoskins quickly in at Mercer there. That's a floppy feather there was, wasn't it? That's Harmon. And still making ground, Neil Harmon. That's good running from Leeds. Tails up now, Gary Rose. It's ironic after all these years of uh, floating about around the lower divisions with Featherston and Keithley that Gary Rose, a Leeds lad from York Road, should end up here. It's a lovely ball. Iodo. Laws and Laws can play a bit. And James Laws. Not your average joker. And again, Harmon, good play from Leeds. Ian Scott will take the tackle. Great play from Leeds. Goes looking for the run round Anley. Goes himself. And has to take the tackle, but up to the last tackle now. Can Leeds put together here? The long ball is for Allroyd and Schofield. Schofield goes himself, comes back inside. Iro. Oh, and he'll have to hand over there, Iroh slipped there as he tried to get into his stride. So a good uh, quick charge there from Clark. Hoskins. Finished his career at Manly this season, played mostly in the reserve grade. It's for Lydiard, that's a great tackle there from uh, number 12, Gary Rose. Shoulder in there, no chance of Lydiard. Making any progress whatsoever. Chamberlain wrapped up and brought down. 
Parker's knocked on there, and again the referees let that go. Well, would you believe it? Park. And this time there's no despite for Rovers Clark. Drop down, and again we'll have to watch the kick from Parker. It's for Tate. Tate can safely let one go. It's got to be a tap. From the 20 metre mark, as far as Leeds are concerned. James Laws it is with a quick tap. And finds Mercer. Oh, and a quickly Leeds moving that ball. That's good play from Leeds. And Fallon again. Sodji having him wrapped up well this afternoon. He hasn't been impressed with the defensive bright Sodji. Man not noted for his uh, defence. He's played well this afternoon. Harry Rose again. Shoulder down. Scott again will pick up that ball. Fallon couldn't take the pass. So Rovers are heading ball at the scrum, just eight metres inside the Leeds half of the field. Well, Leeds certainly not afraid to throw the ball about this afternoon, nor are Rovers. Entertaining game here at Edinley. And I'm sure that our main match host today, Tobin Design, are enjoying their afternoon here at Bass Edinley. Good tackling from Tate there and Iro coming in. Hutchison scatters away from one man, but not the next as Leeds wrapping him up. Hoskins. Oh, and a good tackle from Mercer. Chamberlain, Harrison. And big defence this from Leeds, keeping Rovers penned out of the 20 metre, the red zone. As it's called in Australia, Clark wrapped up three, four men in at the tackle. And again up to the last tackle, so Alan Tate will be looking for Parker and Leeds could do well to close Parker down here. Bob the cross and Fallon this time. Manages to get out of the in goal. James Laws runs himself from that in half. Big defence from Wilkinson is what's required. Iado trying to throw Thompson off, but Leeds still penned 10 metres from their own line. And Mercer will. And again, another good tackle from Andy Thompson. Great ball, low score field on. He couldn't take the pass there, and so Rovers back in position and moving that ball out. And dangerous if Sodji gets on the outside of Hyro. But Hyro and Anley in quickly. Fallon's injured. Behind his own line. Chamberlain, Parker. Wrapped up there. Two men in at the tackle. And had plenty of possession this half. Kingston still quite a while ago. Ten minutes of possession so far. Hoskins busting throw in the middle. But good tackling again from Rose. Harrison, oh good, good strong running there from Chris Harrison. Rovers now looking to set something up, using the short side, Thompson. Just a metre short, went up to the last tackle, so Leeds. What's Parker going to do here? He's got the ball in his hands, dangerous customer. And Dell just short, good tackling from Leeds. Jim Fallon going off. So Leeds have got young Francis Cummins on the wing on his debut. I'm sure they're not the circumstances in which Francis Cummins would have wanted to come on in his debut. Good running from Schofield, clearing his line there. Hanley. Mercer, that's good play from Leeds, eager to get this ball. Harmon. Lowe's. Progress halted by a good tackle from Lydiard. Again, Leeds spinning the ball out wide. Sam Allroyd will kick. That sails right down to the corner, but it's going to run out dead. Allroyd's kick just a metre too long there. Good kick from the youngster. Obviously learning from the Sean Edwards School of um, Kicking. So Robbers then with the tap. 
Hoskins runs straight at Hanley. Oh, great tackle there. Harry Mercer leads moving up very quickly, giving Rovers no time to get into the stride. And again, Addison wrapped up. Leads back in possession. Yes, and that's decided that Gary Mercer's got that ball. And a nice try before half time will be just what the Leeds fans here would like. Penalty for stealing the ball from Hoskins. This Leeds 18 6 in the lead. Successful. So Graham Holroyd's kick then, Leeds 18. Kingston Rovers, six. Just a couple of minutes from half time. A thoroughly satisfying first half as far as Leeds are concerned, apart from the uh, couple of kicks. Kingston Rovers not really troubled them. Kingston Rovers struggling at the moment to get through the Leeds forwards. And Leeds, to be fair to them, they look as though they could quite possibly score. Every time they get the ball. And good running again from Mercer. Well over the advantage line there. That 20 metre mark is a good. Cummins. And a high tackle from Sodji, but Cummins was falling as he. Yes, the 20 metre mark, a good. Um oh, great play from Gary Rose. Do a mean and going himself there. It's a high bomb and Schofield and Anley are both on side. Great tackle from Anley in. Just making sure that Ulkinson didn't spin out of it. In fact, he has done now. Maybe a good play from Bibby. As I was saying, the 20 metre mark, a good judge from the kickoffs. Uh, last week against Wigan Leeds, making no progress beyond that 20 metre mark from any of the kickoffs against Wigan. That is today, the Ulkinson Rovers kickoffs leads out regularly 25, 30 metres. On that line, great tackle in there from Innes. That's a good, solid tackle from Craig Innes. Hanley up quickly there. Oskins getting the ball out of the tackle, but Hanley was quick to spot the danger. Parker looks to run at the Leeds defence. We're up to the last tackle. That ball going back this time. Clark knocks on. Waiting to kick the ball. Hanley will go himself. And number nine, uh, Chamberlain was offside there. Mercer spots the gap, getting Mercer. Oh, great play from Mercer. Tries a chip over. Mercer again. Oh, and he's only a metre short now. Could be something here for Leeds if they can move that ball quickly. Alan Tate. Francis Cummings in for a debut try. He'll be absolutely delighted about that with Francis Cummings. Simplest of tries, but on your debut, your first, second touch of the ball, none of them are easy. Cummings in the right place, took the ball from Tate, but what a beautiful break from Gary Mercer. Tremendous play from Leeds. So, Graham all right, difficult kick for him from the touchline side. Spins that round, it's well wide. But Leeds 22, Hulkinson Rover 6. And there goes a the holder, so a thoroughly professional executed performance from Leeds at half-time. Leading by 22 points to six, they opened the scoring with a try to Hanley. After Rovers were caught napping at a tap penalty, turned their backs on the line, Hanley run the 15 metres or so and managed to get over. All right, converted, it was 6-0. And when a kick was put in behind the Leeds line, Lydiard was first to it. Sodji in support, scored, back with converted, and it was 6 all in 12 minutes. And then Cook had a try in 24 minutes after good work from Allroyd and Iroh, 10-6. Schofield had a try, lovely shimmy of his hips there. All right converted, it was 16 points to six. And on 38 minutes, all right had a penalty for stealing the ball against David Hoskins. And on 40 minutes, a try to Francis Cummins. After good work, great play from Gary Mercer, chipping over, spotted the gap, run 40 yards, shipped over, caught the ball, was tackled a metre short. Alan Tate in support, ball out to Francis Cummins, sparkling debut try for him. So half time then, leads 22, Old Kingston Rovers, six.
once again, I'd like to welcome our big match host today, Tobin Design, and thank them for their sponsorship here at Eddie Lane Up. They've enjoyed their afternoon with us today. And Mercer running that ball out strongly in Leeds, starting where they left off. Then Elkington Rovers not marking square. Hanley again taps the ball, throws himself. First half penalties were 4 5 in Rovers' favour, and the scrums 4 3 with the one against the head, the first scrum of the game. Leeds coming away now. Ian Scott. Schofield. And he'll find Graham Holroyd with a good ball, and Holroyd taking play back himself, looking to go. Get his pass away. Hanley. Oh, big gap there for Ellie Hanley showing the ball. And wrapped up already in for his fifth try of the season, Hanley. All right. Chips for the corner. A bit too hard, but turned into a wonderful kick from Graham All right. Absolute bags of confidence, the youngster. Had the kick, looked as it was too hard. Good chasing game from Paul Cook and Craig Innes. And as they say, a pig's ear of it made behind the line by Rovers. Rob Hutchinson or Julian Barkworth. Be able to see from here who it was. So Parker, who seems to do everything for Hutchinson Rovers, he will drop out and Graham Allroyd will gratefully accept the ball. Harmon, battling forward, good driving from Leeds in the 20 metre mark, in that area, Scott, Rose in support, couldn't get the ball away, Scott, good tackling from Rovers, man and ball, Schofield's in the line now, puts the ball down, I'm disappointed as Leeds look to open up there, Terry Schofield absolutely furious with himself, not able to take the ball, Wayne Parker feeds for Rovers. And bringing Lydiard round there. Paul Lyman. And Gary Mercer bringing him down. One tackle, one to one. Harrison. And again, Mercer. Hoskins. Runs at Allroyd, but Allroyd's keeping all there. Good play there. Hoskins again. And certainly the luck with the Hawkinson this afternoon. As far as the ball ricocheting, Parker's kick. All offside. And that's in the second row of the crowd. So that'll be the turnover. Maybe just 10 metres inside the leads half of the field, Gary Mercer. He'll play low, finds Harmon. Neil Harmon looks fitter today than I've seen him this season. He's had a struggling with a back problem since he arrived. It certainly looks nothing wrong with him today. And another man who never looks anything wrong with his Gary Rose. Absolutely delighted to be playing for his hometown club. Oh, ball out wide there for the centres and in his wrapped up. So using that short side. Hook, good ball inside for Schofield. Hanley, Gary Rose. Scott there and leads of an overlap here. If Scott can get the ball out to Mairo. To chip in Iro. Well picked up by Bibi. Rovers back in possession. Enterprising stuff from Leeds and good defence from Rovers. Sodji now, he scored the try of the... One of the tries of the season here last year. Took the ball in his own 20 metres and ran the length of the field. Lydiard out of one tackle. So again, wrapped up Marovas, moving across the field, not really going forward. And now they come forward with Jackson. Using the short side. Well, that's 
tackle Parker. Hoskins puts the kick in, the forward pass a mile there, but referees let that one go, and Tate will have to scurry back for it. Francis Cummins quickly in at acting half. Cook. Harmon. Bumping men off Harmon. Hanley spots a gap again. Can't get the ball away in the tackle. What a tremendous player Eladie Hanley is. I keep saying it every week, but ever alert, what a mind. And Hoskins got the look of the bounce there. Lidiard has to go himself. Well brought down by James Lowe's. Thompson, and Mercer cross there. That's good tackling from Gary Mercer. Great second row play there. Parker, Clark. Kick full for Sodji. And Tate moving up the line, that's a good play from Tate. And a good tackle coming in there. Francis Cummins wrapped up by number one Mike Bibby. And again, good tackling from Bibby. That leads moving that ball. Gary Rose will straighten things up and settle things down. Anley. Schofield now in space. Sport on the far side, Scofield had to come this way then on the short side. Couldn't use the support. Man between Scofield and his support. All right. Looks for the gap. Can't get through. Six tackle coming up. Mercer's at acting half. Scofield's there for the kick. Just plonks that one over in towards the corners. Barkley. Hanley and Scott wrapping him up there. Good tackling from Hanley and Scott. Rose, he's a pack of work very hard this afternoon. And again, that's Harmon, one-to-one -one tackling. Hoskins. Penalty given there for holding down at the tackle. Harrison, Rovers just in the leads. 20 metre area. Using the short side. Parker's looking for the run round. Long tries out to Hutchison. Well wrapped up there by Innes. Picked up by Innes there. <laughs> Rovers run around, uh, nobody at home there. Rovers all offside, Hoskins. Gary Rose, just puts his head down, tries to duck below the tackle of Andy Thompson. And this time it's Mercer. Oh, lovely ball out to Iado. Nairo rampaging through there, that's a ball. Out of coming, slips as he comes inside. That's twice Francis Cummins has slipped coming inside. Perhaps the ball surface a bit greasier than. Up to the last tackle there. Sodji now, and slipped in, must be greasy in this corner. Sodji, another one who slipped there. Straightening up now, and Iado just laid hands on Sodji, but not enough to bring him down. But fortunately for Leeds, a cover was coming across. Ian Scott penalised for offside. Well, that's uh, 
Amazing how the referees seem to find the one player offside and virtually all the Wilkinson Rovers side offside every play of the ball in the last 36. Addison. And three, four leads men in there at the tackle. Before the Mike Crane there took his eye off that ball. Mercer again. Some great running from Gary Mercer. And that's a penalty. Right, tackle by Lydia and Mercer and Lydia both injured in that skirmish. 10 minutes of this second half gone. And leads 22 points to six. Still to the lead. No points scored in this second half. And when the uh, city have finished attending to their respective players, Leeds will have the penalty. Their sixth of the game. Lloyd kicks up towards the gantry here. Harmon just driving forward as he's done all afternoon. Made lots of ground this afternoon. Another one who has is Ian Scott. Referee <laughs> saying that the... Uh, Ball had come out after his elbows were on the floor and he'd called held. But should she be fair, gave that decision. Maybe Lydia is having to come off for Old Kingston. The lady's a bit frustrated as they try to get some points on attack. Hanley quickly breaking from the scrum. Almost in for the try there, Hanley. Schofield. Acting out. Long balls for Allroyd, who only took that up well there. Cool customer, Graham Allroyd. Still going, showing the ball. There's a drop off for Schofield. Schofield's pass intercepted, but. Well, you had another penalty against Leeds there at the play of the ball. Schofield holding onto the ankle, says the referee. Hoskins. Dragged down there, Harrison. Working a move, Parker. Thompson having a reach back for that ball. There's a suspicion of forward passes and one or two Wilkinson moves this afternoon. Good running from Mike Crane. But Rovers again, 20 metres from the Leeds line. And Rovers again at sixes and sevens. And wrapped up this time. The Leeds will have dropped back for the kick. Got the head and ball of Leeds at the scrum. And it's just allowing that to bounce in. The touch, good bounce. Are they only just questioning there as to whether we should have had a turnover? The Schofield looking to work the scrum. It's been a good game this afternoon. Cook. 
Mercer again. Good running from Gary Mercer. All right. Just look at the ball there. It's Leeds. Our Rovers are tired now and the lane on is becoming uh, more and more every scrum. Hoskins. Schofield. Ball's out for Innes. Innes just slipped as he spun round there, but good play again from Innes. And again, holding down from Rovers and interfering at the play of the ball. Referee's got to be more consistent. All right. The ball wrenched out of Allroyd's grasp there in the tackle. A dead leg there, I think, for Graham Holroyd. Got a knee there in that tackle. Harrison Laws bringing him down. In fact, that's uh, Jackson, not Harrison. Packer, Thompson, and balls out for Barkley. Cook bringing him down. Good tackling from Innes and Cook. And Mike Crane wrapped up. Oh, good ball there out to Parker. Forward pass there, absolutely yards forward. Well, David Campbell not keeping a good eye on these forward passes. Several of the Rovers uh, passes have verged on forward. Two in that set of play there, which could all and would have been on another day, all blown up. Cummings. Good run there from the youngster, from the base of the scrum. Mercer. Cook Williams, Harmon. Still the 22-6 scoreline. And we're midway through this second half, or 15 or so, 16 minutes through the second half, and Leeds yet to open their account. And Alan Tate now in space. Finds all right. Laws in support. Good play from Leeds. Hanley. What's the gap there, Hanley? Tate. Yes, that's a tighter. Hanley. Uh, Hutchinson couldn't take the ball. The ball bobbing him out all over the place. And it's that man, Ellery. Hanley again, who gets his name on the score sheet for Leeds. His first try of the second half. South stand giving Ellery a big cheer. He was there in support as always. He was involved in that move three times there, handling. All right. Converts that one. Well, such as David Topless and one or two others have been saying that Leeds shouldn't sign youngsters or the youngsters shouldn't sign for Leeds as they won't get a chance. Well, three 17-year-olds and a 16-year-old on the field today. And uh, there won't be many other sides in the first division who will be supplying that number of youngsters this week for first-team action. And again, Holroyd, one of them now. He's had a good game this afternoon. Mercer. To be fair, Rovers haven't given up and they've kept Leeds out for 20 minutes or so. Vass. Early touch of the ball. Gary Rose moved up to prop with Ian Scott going off and almost had his head taken off there. Great ball, Tate. Lowe's in support as always. Crafty player, James Lowe's. 
Typical half-back in his running and his execution, his handling of the ball. And again, Hutchison looking for the interception. Almost intercepting Schofield's pass that was knocked down. It'll be head and ball of Leeds. Looks to work the feed. That's got to be a penalty there. And Leeds will be disappointed that a good move lined up there from the scrum. The penalty will just slow things down. Number eight, Chris Allison, just hoisting himself out of the scrum. Leeds now will use Harmon. And a driving rampage in run, Harmon. This time Gary Rose. Gary Mercer, should I say, on the burst. Oh, one thing's for sure if you've got any uh, pretensions to being a hard man in this game. The one person you will have to contend with is Gary Rose. And Gary Rose straight in there to protect his player after the Mercer had been uh, high tackled. Jackson the culprit. <laughs> Referee just telling Rose to calm it down, not be involved. Great play from uh, Leeds. There's really no need for this uh, roasting for what was no more than a tit for tat. And Leeds to Leeds. And Allroyd will kick for goal. And the crowd always disappointed when Leeds go for the two points, but Ellen Hanley, totally professional. He knows the value of these points at the end of the season. Leeds will also, of course, get the ball back. Win or lose. Well, I've got to say whether the, the uh, kick goes over or not. Hanley, confidence that Allroyd can kick the goal. He doesn't disappoint. That's 30 points to six then. Five tries, five goals, just a one try and a one goal to Rovers. Only two minutes of the second half gone, so we're midway through. Bass will have a run. He's a tough, slippery customer, is Marcus Bass or Copolis. What a tremendous prospect. He's a lot of good judges. John Joyner, one of them telling me that Vassil Copolis is the best young player that they've ever seen in their life. And that includes the likes of Sean Edwards, who was also a tremendous prospect at that age. Nigel Stevenson. And Bradford Northern confirmed that best young player he'd ever seen. So, lot to live up to Marcus Vass, but a tremendous prospect. Great head, all head on young shoulders. And uh, great temperament. No edge in him whatsoever. Just happy to come and play for Leeds. On the apprenticeship scheme, as uh, Cook and Holroyd and Cummins. means that they are working with the professionals five days a week training learning learning about the game learning about various aspects of rugby league so 
Rovers looking to open this ball out now. It is Barkworth, but the cover's coming across. Cook did enough to uh, push Barkworth over into a touch there, although Mercer coming along and hoping to complete that. Cook, stepping, the go himself, Cook. All right, ball's out to Tate and Leeds now open things up there. Cummings is away, he's in for his second try. Well, what a step from Francis Cummings there on the touchline side. Tremendous try there, took a man on on the outside. What confidence, one class from someone who's only 16 year old. I can see Dougie Lawton from here beaming all over his face and well he might be. Our leads together with the city of Dougie Lawton, together with Bob Pickles, have found these youngsters, they've been out and found the youngsters at Leeds, haven't the quality juniors at Leeds haven't had for a long, long time. And it's all paying off for him now. Tyler Cummings. All right, converts. Thirty-six points to six. Six tries and six goals. Only seven minutes gone then. That ball not touching Gary Rose, he's stuck in under the ball there. He's got the head and ball of Leeds at this come great run there and that a little move from Paul Cook who came right across the field looking to step all the way finally give a good ball out to Innes and he's found Tate Tate perfect pass but did a lot to do Francis Cummins Schofield Cook again so seven scums the leads to five Tate again looks to run, full of running Alan Tate. Cook steps and goes himself, he's got Hanley with him. Vasilakopoulos in the middle of the field, looks to go himself. Straightening up there. Rose. Good run from Gary Rose and a take, took good take of the ball there from Craig Innes. Lovely ball from Rose. All right. Bags of space now for All right. Long pass, that's Tate. Hanley coming over for his hat trick. Well, you can't keep a good man down, so what can you do with a great man? And show him why he's a cert for that great Britain test against New Zealand. Only a forward dare to leave him out. And he's been written off more times, Hillary Hanley. A lot of speculation in the uh, tabloid press and the rugby league press that Hanley would be finished after being left out of the side against France for what was described as disciplinary reasons. But uh, only a forward leave Hillary Hanley out of any side in this sort of form. So 42 points to six, Leeds looking to pile on the points now. And Rovers seem to have lost all fight and all spirit in this game. They've uh, not had much possession in the second half. In fact, only six minutes so far. Graham Holroyd finds Mercy. And Mercy running out now. Takes onto that ball. Couldn't take the pass. And again leads Mercy in his... Just couldn't take the pass there, Kevin Iro. Francis Cummins might have been in for a hat trick on his debut. Not many Leeds players scored a hat trick on the debut. Phil Ford, Alan Smith, and Eric Groth, and David Creaser on his first full appearance, but he'd already played one game of substitute. Wayne Packer gets the ball from the scrum, looks to go down the short side. Well done of Leeds players. Wrapping him up. Leeds tackling Keane and Leeds in years gone by would have 
conceded a couple of late tries. That was the usual thing that Leeds did years ago. But I'm sure this uh, present outfit more mean and will tackle just as well as they did in the first half. Good tackle on Fletcher there. Had a quiet game this afternoon, Paul Fletcher. Back to Parker. Clark. Lyman. Ball's inside there for Andy Thompson and back to Clark. That's good play from Rovers. Clark, no pace whatsoever to scrum at standoff this afternoon. Lyman, hoist the bomb. Alan takes that, takes that well. And leads back in possession. Mercer. Cook, has he got space? Cook. He's certainly got a great side step as Paul Cook. And the sense to go down when David Austin started to ram him back across his own line. Innes and Leeds players all in the run now. Harmon. Rose, that's good play from Leeds. And again, Harmon will have another run. He's trying to get over that advantage line and succeed in Leeds now. Schofield, all right. It's a kick in across field, it's towards a fullback Bibi who picks it up. He's got a long way to run before he meets any defence. In fact, he meets Graham Holroyd and Scotty Schofield will bring him down immediately. Alan Tate just shouting his instructions there to Leeds to keep him out. It's the keenness that Leeds these days. That's in there. Great play from the youngster. Well, would you believe that decision there from the referee? That is unbelievable decision. Vass almost had his head taken off there in that tackle. Picks up for Leeds. And when Parker and Jim Laws having a tete a tete, as it were. Didn't see what was happening there. Watch the. Uh, Watching the man in possession, it was Ellery Hanley. And the scrum with the head and ball has gone to Leeds there with the side in possession. So Ellery Hanley moved up to the second row, that's the uh, how highly young Vass is held in esteem here. Schofield just takes that ball from the scrum. Lows at action now. Something to say then. Lot of be nine penalties and really he should be going to the sim bin there, Jackson. Deliberately. Kick finds touch and Laws will tap and Leeds will drive with Armand. <laughs> Gary Rose and the forwards out to give Gary Rose a battering. All right, gets. That's got to be a penalty now. There's danger to losing the heads here. That's ridiculous. 
and referee Campbell an appalling game this afternoon losing control of the game Rovers just doing what they like to do they're throwing the ball away they're tackling from offside positions giving away a string of penalties Lowe's using the short side with Schofield leads 10 meters five meters now short of the line Hanley looks to go himself can't get the ball away in the tackle held close I know now he's got there for I know he's lost the ball and the referee will give the first knock on In fact, did you give a penalty there? Well, the man lost the ball there. So, again, a bad decision from Campbell. You can see that plainly on the video that uh, the man lost the ball in the tackle. And I know just fell on the loose ball. Well, referee Campbell must get control of this... Uh, game before somebody has to be sent off needlessly Parker Hoskins it's been a long hard winter for David Hoskins Hutchison Well, the pass was a mile forward, it hit Cook on the head. And so Rovers get head and ball at the scrum. And Leeds will defend now, stoutly to keep him out. Hanley here, uh, that Leeds man of the match. Clark running at Holroyd, and Vass coming up out of the scrum to tackle him. Well, scrappy game now. Wilkinson Rovers not really taking any advantage at all of that scrum. The head and ball of Leeds. Can they finish off with a, another six pointer under the sticks? I'm sure Francis Cummins would love to get his hands on the ball with some space. Hi there. Oh, and he's wrapped up this time. So. Mercer. Freddie Rose. Bringing play over on this short side. Hanley will clean up for Leeds. King Kim weaving Ellery Hanley. Can't get past Andy Thompson. Oh, and take, couldn't take that pass else that was a trying to make in there for Leeds. The Leeds just trying to force play now to uh, wrap up. They'd like 50 points, I'm sure they'd settle for 48 or even 46. Parker feeds a scrum. And Hutchinson has looked. A dangerous customer at times today, the former Halifax player. He looks Rovers' best bet on attack. Harrison. Good tackle from Schofield. Parker again. Fletcher. Clark. And no effort in Clark to go. Parker again, looks to switch that back inside for Thompson. Thompson drops the ball, Hanley Hanley has it for Leeds. The referee has already ended all chaos. Misery, the timekeeper's blowing for time and Leeds. Tremendous victory, a totally professional job, well executed. Kept Rovers to the six points from the kick at half time. At half time it was 22 points to six. Francis Cummins had just scored the first of his two tries. And Leeds had to wait for 57 minutes before Leeds with Hanley. 
Good work from Manley Pouncing on the loose ball. Over the line after Hutchinson couldn't take it. 28 points to six with Allroyd's conversion. 62 minutes of penalty to Holroyd, 30 points to six. And then Francis Cummings had his second try. Holroyd converted, it was 36 points to six. And then on 69 minutes, Hanley, another try. Great play there. The lead's coming over. So applaud the fans in the south stand. Good performance from Leeds today. Four teenagers, in fact, young teenagers at that in the side. And the home support to do with the support needed Marcus Vass. He'll be delighted to get that one over with. And Ellery Hanley, what a great player he is, Ellery Hanley, and what a great captain. And Gary Rose, delighted to be playing for Leeds after so many years in the game. So Leeds then running out winners here, 42 points to six. The penalties, well, they were dried at 10 all on the scrums. They were 9 8 to Leeds, over taking the one against the head. The scrappy game at times, Rovers losing control of it in the second half. The referee needed to step in to stop somebody being sent off. But Leeds, they'll be happy, very professional. The four youngsters coming on. All Leeds, Cook, all right, and the photograph there being taken of them in the middle of the field. Paul Cook, Marcus Vasilakopoulos, Francis Cummins, and Graham Holroyd. And Ellery Hanley getting a tremendous ovation as he goes off the field. So there we are then, we'll leave you with the news from Edinburgh that it's Leeds 42, Old Kingston Rovers 6.